All right, Algebra 2, here we go. Moving on to Section 4.3, Modeling with Quadratic Function. This is application of what we're doing. Uh, this is going to tie together what we did back in 3.5 with uh, solving three equations, three unknowns. Our essential question is how can you write the equation of a parabola without the vertex, okay, with only knowing three points on the, three points on the curve. You have to have three points because we're talking about a parabolic curve. Uh, if you only take two points, it could be a line, so we need three points. Uh, standard form, remember, is y or f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c. How do you set up the model? Well, you'll be given some type of a problem, and you'll be given three points that uh, the ball or the, whatever it is that has that curve that took that shape, three points that it passed through, okay? Uh, so you get three x, y points. You're going to plug each of these x, y points into the standard form equation. So you put the y here and the x is there. And then you're going to solve the three equations like section 3, 5. Okay? So a little refresher here and how they tie together. Say you have an arc of a basketball that passes through the points 2, 10, 4, 12, and 10, 12. Okay? Just like when we're solving y equals mx plus b, where you find the slope and then you plugged in the x, y, and the m, and you found b, then you rewrote your equation. Well, it's that mindset, but you're doing it with your uh, y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, your standard form. So I take the first point, 2, 10. So here is my x, here is my y, and I plug them into the standard form. ax squared plus bx plus c equals my y, which is 10. So I put my 2's in for my x's, my 10 in for my y. The point 4, 12, there's my 4 in for the x's, 12 for the y. The point 10, 12, put my 10 in for the x's, my 12 in for my y. Now when I do this, I've created three equations that look like this. 2 squared is 4a, plus 2b plus c is 10. 4 squared is 16, plus the 4b plus 12. And then 10 squared is 100. And then once I get it from here, I'm going to solve it like I did my, my three equations. I'm going to take the first equation and the second equation, multiply by negative 4 so I cancel out that a. Then I'm going to take the first and the third equation, I'm going to multiply by 25, and I'm going to cancel this guy out. So I'm going to have a new second and third equation, and then I'm going to take that second and third equation, and I'm going to get rid of that b right there. So I find c equals 2, some number, and then we're going to work it back through here. Um, if you look back to 3, 5, look, just look back in your notes, look at those examples we did there and the problems we did. Um, I don't want to take 10 minutes to go through this problem or something, because remember, each problem gets pretty lengthy, okay? But that's how we did it. Remember, there's always shortcuts, but then the shortcut, you get stuck. Where do I go from here? Follow this right here, just like I laid it out in section 3, 5. Okay, so it'll look very much like that. <laughs> there you go, that's all we got. So, modeling with qu quadratic functions, we're applying um, a concept just like y equals mx plus b, but because it's three points, we've got to find our a, b, and our c for our standard form of our quadratic. And then uh, we do that by uh, three equations, three unknowns, and solve it like we did in 3, 5. Okay? So when you come into class, we're going to look at some examples like this. Um, and most of these are application type problems. Um, and we've been talking about quadratics and the parabola and, and uh, where we see that quite a bit in our lives from a headline on a car to a satellite dish to anything that you might throw. Okay. Uh, so there's that right there. Go back and look at 3.5. I'll make this short so you get a little time to look back at that so you can um, recall how we uh, solve these problems. Okay, when you get into class tomorrow, we'll pick it up from there and get rolling with that. Have a good one. See you then.